Everyone, I'm Steve Uhara. These are your top stories. We have an update to a story that we first brought to you as breaking news here on Sunrise. We reported on a hit and run that involved two teens yesterday morning in the ward area. One of them unfortunately has died and at last check the driver is still on the loose. The teen who died was 16 year old Sarah Yara. She was walking to McKinley High School yesterday morning. Police say the driver of a silver pickup truck plowed into the two and later fled the scene without stopping to help. The other student was last listed in good condition. Sarah's mother, Chevy, spoke to us about her daughter and pleaded that a hit and run driver come forward so that family can have closure and justice. <laughs> she took someone that was so loving and kind away from us. And not only from me, from her twin sister. All she could say all day was her other half is gone. Police were able to recover the truck for evidence. They believe speed is a factor. We're going to keep you updated with the very latest on this story. Hawaii residents die of certain liver infections and cancer at a higher rate than the rest of the U.S. That's according to new data analysis from the State Department of Health. It found that in 2019, local residents died of hepatitis B at nearly three times the national average, with Asian and Pacific Islanders particularly at risk of this. Liver cancer death rates were also higher. The report calls for additional research, testing, and outreach programs to the communities that are most affected. The state has partnered with Hep Free Hawaii, which aims to eliminate hepatitis A, B, and C in the state by the year 2030. Billy? We have a first alert weather day today and tomorrow for Hawaii Island and Maui County initially, but we may have to extend that depending on conditions. Uh, first of all, we're expecting a lot of Kona winds to draw deep tropical moisture from the south. Hawaii Island and Maui County, you could get uh, coming up in the next 48 hours. Uh, Maui County, 6 to 12 inches. Hawaii Island, that could be up to 18 inches of rain. Kauai and Oahu, 1 to 5 inches. Here's what today is going to look like. Uh, it's going to be uh, cloudy as we start off this morning. Uh, 9 a.m. We've got cloudy skies, some isolated uh, thunder showers coming up possible this afternoon with some evening showers as well. More rain coming on Friday.